Hi, this slide is a variation on a theme for visual learners. We just were talking about in the last clip finding and creating extra services for bigger, better customers. Um, and in this slide, I show that those opportunities come at the intersection of uh, our biggest, best, most progressive customers' uh, needs and our ability to look at our our, our mission in a, in a broader sense. Uh, let me unpack that. First of all, we, we clearly have spent a lot of time talking about marginal customers, very small, no growth kind of guys. Oops. I don't know why that uh, popped up there. Uh, and, uh, and we've gotten all that we've talked about large, progressive, ambitious, uh, willing to innovate gazelles. And so we call on those kinds of people, but we have a very big picture view of what we're trying to do for them. In other words, a small picture view would be, I've got a promotion on uh, Tiddlywinks this week because uh, the Tiddlywinks manufacturer has given me an extra five off on every truckload I buy and sheltered income and whatever. And I'm going to sell it to any and everybody whether they you know, need it or not. And I've got the rest of what they want. I'm product-centric, volume-driven, as opposed to no... I am niche focused, share of customer focused, share of best right customers focused. I want to have one stop shop, best fill rates, and the rest of the service value equation goes with it. I want to basically deliver the total supply chain uh, uh, enchilada to these guys. And if I can marry them and get all the business, even thinking bigger, how do I help them grow their business profitably so, so they can actually need to buy more stuff from me and have the working free cash flow to pay their bills on time. So really, I'll, I'll only I, I want to help them grow their business because it's good for me. So with that kind of perspective, when I'm going out and I'm, I'm getting the tour of the place and I'm talking to everybody who directly or indirectly comes in touch with my product. So I, you know, people in, in purchasing are concerned about uh, certain metrics. People who actually use my stuff are looking at certain things, normally application issues and productivity, but the supervisor is certainly looking at productivity. Um, there could be internal logistical people, etc. So as I'm talking to all these people, I'm looking for, you know, pain and sort of thinking, is there a way that I can do what I've been doing and something more to take away the pain? And that's where I'm going to come up with these kinds of ideas. Now, we'll go through specific case studies to illustrate, uh, uh, crystallize uh, these, these, these general concepts. Thank you.